So here we are at Kiruna Airport at, in Swedish Lapland, heading back to London. This we're flying on our SAS uh, to Stockholm and then onward to London. It's going to be on a Boeing 737-700 followed by an A320. Uh, this, if you notice, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, it's pitch dark here. That being said, it's not that cold uh, for December. It's around zero uh, degrees Celsius right now. It's not too bad. You've got the um, rental car stand over there. That's your exit. This is your entry or other departures and that's your arrivals over there. Small little airport, does the job. with security. taking us to Stockholm today. Welcome to Sally Park Flight, as long as the flight mode is activated during the entire flight. 
Smoking and the use of electronic cigarettes is not allowed by the flight, including the lavatories. If you don't open the overhead compartment during the flight, we ask you to do so here. To prevent the baggage from falling out. Q issue. Oh, that's nice. fine.
like the service. Flight's been cancelled, heading to our new flight through gate 30 Delta, apparently. Have a look. Right, so the transfer service with SAS is quite different to Norwegian. Thirty Delta, keep going. Hmm? There's nobody here. What's going on? Here we are at Gate Thirty D, and um, I think they've got connecting buses to the corresponding terminals or wherever it is. I'm not sure. So what we did was we pressed this button over here. And it said that there's a bus coming in 10 minutes. So we'll see what happens now. Our flight is the 16.15 to London, Terminal 5, F59, 533. Next, Terminal 5, Bus Stop 11Y, to Gates 11 to 24.
belated welcome on board the Scandinavian Airlines Airbus 320 for the schedule back to London Heathrow. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to start with an explanation and an apology to you why we are running as late as we are this evening. I know how frustrating it is to sit in an airport terminal waiting for an aircraft that doesn't arrive. And you also have to start to hear all sorts of reasons why it hasn't arrived and you also don't often get an accurate arrival time when it is the correct one. Well, can I tell you now exactly what has happened? And this is exactly as it happened. This aircraft was waiting for my crew and I at Heathrow when we got to it this afternoon. And we got on the aircraft and we were ready on time and we pushed back on time to come up here to Stockholm. As we started the first engine, we had an issue with a flight control computer on board the aircraft. And that involved myself and Andrew doing a reset of it, which didn't work. The result of that was we were asked to taxi to a remote stand at Heathrow while our engineers came out to the aircraft to run some tests and do some further, more advanced resets of the computer. They did that and it all worked, but it took time. Having completed all of that, we filled the aircraft again and got ready to go. We picked up an air traffic control slot out of London. And basically, an air traffic slot is something I have no influence over, neither do Scandinavian Airlines. And it was one hour and 10 minutes later than when we were now fully ready. We had to sit there for the whole hour and 10 minutes before we were allowed to depart. And then we successfully got airborne and I've flown the aircraft as quickly as I can to get here now. That is what has happened today. And I sincerely apologize to you for the inconvenience that is causing you, especially people who have connections from London. But rest assured, ladies and gentlemen, the aircraft is completely serviceable. Your safety is my overriding concern, and I would not fly you back to Heathrow unless it was completely serviceable. I'm now going to do that as quickly as I possibly can. The flight time should be about 2 hours and 15 minutes, and Andrew and myself will talk to you again and update that arrival time and the weather on to Heathrow a little bit later. In the meantime now, please make yourselves as comfortable as you can, but rest assured we are doing everything as a crew now to get you as comfortably and as safely to Heathrow as possible. Thank you. Buffet the buckle and tighten the strap only inflate the life vest when leaving through the exit. You inflate your life vest by pulling down the tab. And if the vest needs more or less air, use the mouthpiece.
step. For safety reasons, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened. Keep your seat back at the table upright and the island emerge exit free of cabin baggage until the fast seatbelt sign has been switched off. Please be careful when opening overhead compartments to prevent baggage from falling out. And before leaving the aircraft, please check that you haven't forgotten anything on board. Also, when you depart, please observe a possible difference between the level between the aircraft and the gate bridge. And as always, smoking is only permitted in designated. Oh, there we are. Let's go.